Hello everyone, this is Lamin Sani of LS Web Apps and in today's video, um, I'd like to uh, give a few um, tips on how to get a job without um, experience, uh, specifically a job in web development, okay? So you've started out in web development, uh, maybe you're a newbie or maybe you've um, had some bit of um, projects under your belt but you don't have any work experience. So how do you go about getting a job? So here are five tips which I believe uh, will help you either in combination or each on their own might help you learn a job. Okay, because uh, they did help me learn my first job. Um, well, it was through word of mouth, but um, I had to back myself because the job required me to show some sort of proof that I can do web development. So this are your way of showing proof that you can do the job. Okay, so first of all, um, do projects and um, have a portfolio. So basically what I mean by that is have a website or somewhere in the internet wherein you can list out your projects that you've done. You can have a GitHub page, you don't necessarily need a website, but a website is uh, a good way of um, showcasing because it's easily searchable on Google. Okay, so secondly, offer to do free gigs. And um, I know this might sound a bit um, negative in some way, but um, when you're starting out, you really don't have that much leverage. So um, maybe your first two or three projects you can um, just do for free um, or charge very little if you're charging any at all. And um, yeah, so that might, um, if you finish those and you've done it very well, they can refer you or they might even pay you on your next project with them or they can refer you to someone if um, another project um, pops up um, from someone else, maybe a friend or a colleague of theirs. So word of mouth is very powerful when you've done something for free and you've done it very well. But the keyword is make sure you put your all in it. You don't want your first few gigs to be a negative uh, review for you, okay? So thirdly, this is actually one of the easiest way um, is to get into, a, start a, um, an open source project. So just have a look at some of the trends that are going on in web dev, maybe ask, create a framework. Um, doesn't have to be the best framework out there, but uh, just do your best or if you are not brave enough to start your own, look at a project that you've liked, maybe Twitter Bootstrap or maybe Laravel um, PHP and see how you can contribute to the project, okay? So that's one very easy way of getting into web development. And in that community, you might get noticed. Someone might um, refer you because you've been contributing very much or someone might say, oh, hey, I have a gig that um, I believe uh, the owner needs someone doing and um, because you've contributed, um, your name might pop up there, okay? Number four, go to meetups, okay? So if you um, are lucky to live in a big city, uh, maybe somewhere in America or um, UK, Germany, or um, anywhere basically, if you have a web development meetup there um, in your city or close city, um, once in a while, um, do pop up because I know we're all busy. But um, if you're looking for a job, I'm guessing that you're not um, that busy. Um, so, um, or even if you're busy, but that's your priority. So make it a, a very high priority to go to these meetups and, um, you might be lucky to meet, um, because in the meetups that I've gone, there's 50% of the time there is someone standing before the meetup starts saying we're hiring. So give it a shot. Um, the fact that you are at this meetup shows that you have um, high emphasis on getting a job and that you're very, very energetic about the um, industry and the community as a whole. So that is also a positive. So even if you don't have an experience talking to that person and they will um, sort of give you a mini interview right there on the spot and they might say, hey, come down to the office for the actual interview and you never know, it might lead to an actual job. Okay. Number five. Hmm might be controversial, but um, start a blog. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. There's tons of blogs out there, but do not feel intimidated. When I started blogging, I wouldn't say I have the best blog out there, but um, as I blog more and more, I have had some freelance projects um, coming from my blog. People have contacted me, said I like what you've written or this and that. And that's not the only reason you can use it as your portfolio later. And a blog also is a way of helping you document your journey. So I use my blog right now, not a way of getting jobs, but a way of um, sort of like reminding myself of things that I've learned in the past. So I still refer to my um, blogs on um, topics that I feel like I will forget maybe in six months or so. So if it comes to mind and I can't remember it, I go to my blog and then I check it for things in the past. 
and it can go both ways you can use it to get jobs as well depends on what you want to use it for i just tend to use it for that reason so start a blog today go to wordpress.org uh, wordpress.com you can get a free blog and if you feel like you need to get your own domain yeah just chip in a few uh, bucks and you can get your own domain and um, rent a server and uh, start your blog on it okay so there you go those are my five tips on how to get a job if you have no experience in web development and um, please let me know in the comments below if I've missed anything or if you have anything else to add or any questions you have. And uh, bye for now. I will see you soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.